Hi brothers, Marvin here from TechBeal.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy B-rolls. And today I just have a quick video for you guys as I share with you my unboxing experience and a quick review of the Cooler Master Vertical GPU Holder Kit version 2. We're also going to tackle about a workaround for its compatibility with the latest PCIe 4.0 RTX 3000 series graphics cards. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright guys, so right here we have the packaging for the Cooler Master Vertical GPU Holder Kit V2 which is of course the new and improved version of the older V1. Flipping the box on the side, we have its key features, specifications as well as the package contents. And flipping it all over at the back, we have another image preview of the product and some contact information for different regions. Flipping it on the side, we just have some branding as well as on the top side. So let's see what comes in the package. Upon opening the box, we have a cardboard divider right here which houses the accessories protected by an anti-static plastic bag. And of course, we have the vertical GPU holder itself. Aside from that, we have a small user manual and some screws. The user manual, however small it may be, is actually quite useful with nice and easy to understand illustrations. We also have some mounting screws for the graphics card as well as for the holder itself. Now at first look and touch, the PCIe riser cable looks way better than the version 1 with a much robust cable design and a reinforced PCIe slot. As for the holder itself, it was also improved with a much better build quality and compatibility to most chassis and the length is now adjustable allowing for better compatibility with longer graphics cards. Speaking of compatibility, since this is a PCIe 3.0 riser cable, out of the box it is not compatible with the latest RTX 3000 series graphics cards which are now PCIe 4.0. In order for you to make it to work, should you decide to really push it for your build, you'll have to change the BIOS settings. You have to change the PCIe X16 mode to PCIe 3.0 or Gen 3 instead of Auto. Please refer to your motherboard's manual or website or just browse through the BIOS settings. As far as I know for now, this is currently the only workaround until PCIe 4.0 riser cable becomes available. Now going back to the Cooler Master Vertical GPU Holder Kit V2, overall I really like the improvements made but I have one more suggestion to make. The adjustable length is pretty good but I would also like to see an adjustable height especially for clearance compatibility with some large CPU coolers and beefy graphics cards. I found this issue on my build where I use a large Noctua NHU12A CPU cooler with an ASUS Tough Gaming RTX 3070. I had to come up with a DIY solution for it to work. Other than that, the Cooler Master Vertical GPU Holder Kit V2 is pretty good in terms of design, build construction, and compatibility. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to watch my latest PC build video where I also use this vertical GPU holder inside a Cooler Master TD500 mesh white chassis. Huge thanks to Cooler Master of course for sending this in. You can get it from the link below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like this and see you next time. Have a great day guys. You're awesome.